Hi, I am Lena Paul, and I'm Holly Randall's Bombshell of the Month. My ultimate dream for my future is to have a lot of land and like a legion of foster kids and uh, sustainable food forests all over acreage where uh, me and all my family can basically build a commune. My greatest fear is uh, failure, uh, to not come here and do the work that I feel like I'm meant to do in this life. Honestly, most mornings I'm one of those people that tends to like have the, the coffee that's pre-programmed so I can just like reach, get it, sit in my bed, read for a little bit longer. But honestly, getting up and uh, going to work with people that I care about and that I have a good time with and feel creative, like that gets me out of bed in the morning. My greatest guilty pleasure, uh, I would say self-pity. <laughs> Like, I could say, you know, smoking or whatever, but like I gave up most of my vices this year. So I'm like really, really tame and I'm much more looking at like my bad habits. And I think I'm one of those people that I love a pity party. If I could change one thing in, a, in the world, uh, I feel like if I say systemic inequality, I sound like I'm in a pageant, but uh, we'll say if I could change one thing in the world, it would be uh, supply and demand scarcity-based economics. The greatest lesson that life has taught me is to be where I'm at that I'm a human being, not a human doing. What makes me happy? Uh, honestly, freedom. The ability to go where I want and do what I want all the time. Um, and my family, like being present in a, in a loving family and, and friend group. My hobbies at this point are, I love to read. Um, I used to be a really big League of Legends gamer, but that was another one of my vices I gave up this year. Um, so these days it's mostly uh, reading and traveling and I've gotten into uh, powerlifting in the last few months. I've been obsessed with it. My biggest creative influences are probably, um, I'm extremely inspired by a director from the USSR. His name is Andrei Tarkovsky. Um, all of his films were basically like prayers and they were so different from any experience that I'd ever had in film. And uh, I've implemented a lot of the things that I've seen from him. He's changed a lot about my aesthetic style. And then, um, Lately, I've been working through everything that Akira Kurosawa has directed, and uh, I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed. I'm, I take a lot of creative inspiration from films from 30 and 40 and 50 years ago, truthfully, uh, because everybody in my family is super fucking old. My dad's 90, so that's just what I was raised on. I would like to be in New Zealand on a beach and uh, working from my laptop while all my brats run around and uh, just do whatever they want. I 
I know it's such a cop out to say cryptocurrency, but I think truthfully, if people fully understood what blockchain technology is and how it can change the way that we do business, that it can change the way that we run our households and mostly the way that we implement data. You know, we've generated so much data over the last two decades of being a digital era that anybody that makes that process more efficient across chains or across systems is going to be a game changer. And that's what a lot of like the new projects represent outside of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Like I think that the Oracle system out of Link is amazing or you know, the idea of creating alternative internet, radio, radio based internet systems like Helium are so fascinating to me. There's so many novel projects that are happening that are blockchain based. What is my perfect first date? Uh, I think, to tell you the truth, I think the date I hate the most is the first date. So if you can make the first date feel more familiar, that's amazing to me. I think like the last date that I went on, we went hiking and like went on a picnic. And I loved that because it didn't feel like, okay, I have to like stand here in this, crowded bar and like wait to get seated and like we make small talk that's awkward and stuff like I want to go do something together. Most of I think most of my dates were off of tinder so it was like let's have sex and then do you want to leave my house? No, all right we're together. Uh, <laughs> but as I get older I'm like oh I guess I should like talk to you before I do that. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me in a different context than you usually see me. Thank you so much to Holly Randall for making me the bombshell of the month in the best month of the year. And I hope that everyone watching this has an exceptionally happy holidays.